Hello, I'm Zeb. I've been making a picture of a rainbow. People are putting pictures of rainbows in their windows to cheer up passers-by. It's a funny old time, isn't it? But don't worry, storms always pass. And being at home means there's lots of time to be creative. I've been making up a story about Gaspar the Fox. Would you like to hear it? It's called Gaspar and the Quiet Day. Something wasn't right, thought Gaspar as he left his den. It was so quiet. Usually at this time of day he had to be careful because of people returning home from work, but the streets were empty. He sat for a moment and looked up at the sky. There weren't even any aeroplanes. It was so quiet the only sound he could hear was his tummy rumbling so he trotted off to look for something to eat. His first stop was the kitchen door of the pub. There was often a bag or two of food scraps waiting to be thrown into the bin, but the lights were off and the chairs stacked on top of the tables. They must be on holiday, he thought. He crossed the road to the cafe, where he always found flakes of sweet pastries along the curb, but the shutters were down. Gaspar looked all the way down the street. Everything was closed. They can't all be on holiday, he thought. Peter would know. He turned the corner to a large pink house, and there, stretching on top of the big stone steps, was Peter the cat. As Gaspar approached, Peter held out a paw. Don't come any closer, he exclaimed. I'm social distancing. Gaspar looked blank. It means, explained Peter, you can't come any closer than two metres minimum. I'm doing my hour of permitted daily exercise. And with that, he lifted one leg high into the air and stretched himself in the opposite direction, which looked extremely uncomfortable. Why is everything shut? asked Gaspar. It's the coronavirus, explained Peter from behind a furry leg. Everybody's got to stay away from each other until it's safe we won't catch it. How awful, said Gaspar. Just then, Finty scampered past, carrying a basket between her teeth. She stopped and looked curiously at Peter. Namaste, he greeted, stretching forward on both front paws. He's doing his exercises, explained Gaspar. Where are you off to? I'm running errands for honey, explained Finty. Honey was Finty's human, an actress with a wonderful garden in which she kept bees. She hasn't caught the virus too, has she? asked Gaspard worriedly. No, but because she's older, she has to be careful, and she can't work because all the theatres are closed. I'm delivering jars of honey as treats for all the other people who have to stay indoors. Inside Finty's basket was a jar with a sticky label that read, Honey's Honey. Just because we can't see one another doesn't mean we can't look after each other, said Finty. Everything will get better soon. How kind, said Gaspar. Rather you than me, said Peter from between his legs. I had cat flu once and was in bed for a week. I'm staying right here. I'll help you, said Gaspar. And they returned to Honey's garden, where she had arranged a pile of sticky jars for Finty each with a different picture on its label. Those are the people we have to take them to, explained Finty. One was a picture of a squashy hat. That's for Ted, who owns the floating bookshop on the canal, she told him. The next jar had a picture of two knitting needles and a ball of wool. That's for Sue, explained Finty. She goes to knitting club with honey. Further along the pile, was a picture of a folding bicycle that Gaspar recognised. I know this one, he said. It's for the kind man with the bicycle. He lives close to my den. Between them, they set about delivering each of the jars. Ted's was placed on the towpath next to the floating bookshop. Sue's on her doorstep with a little knitted cover. And Gaspar left the kind man's jar on the wall outside the little block of flats where he would see it. Back in Honey's garden, there were three jars left without their lids on. The first had a picture of a cat. The second, a picture of a shaggy-haired little dog. And the third, 
a fox with a tear in one ear. They're for us, barked Finty, wagging her tail. And there at the kitchen window was Honey, waving and blowing kisses at them. After they had licked their jars clean, they carried Peter's and left it at the top of the big stone steps. Peter waved at them safely from inside. On the window above him was a picture of a rainbow. That's to show passers-by that everything is going to get better, explained Finty. And sure enough, as Gaspar trotted back to his den licking the sticky fur around his mouth, he noticed rainbow in window after window and felt the sweet taste of honey in his now quiet tummy. Everything will get better soon, he said to himself, as he settled down into the warmth of his den for some very sweet dreams. See how many rainbows you can see when taking your daily exercise. The pictures that you saw in that story were drawn by James Mayhew. James is also having to stay indoors, but he's busy working on our next book, Gaspar's Foxtrot. Should we find out how he's getting on? Hi, welcome to my attic studio. I'm afraid it's a bit of a mess because I'm so busy working on the new Gaspar the Fox book. Would you like to see some of the pictures? Let's have a look over here. So here's my sketchbook with the very, very first early pencil sketches for the new story, which is called Gaspar's Foxtrot. And I'm going to start with Gaspar Red. James, at that speed, we'll be here all day. Let's use a little internet magic to speed things up. So there's a little sneaky look behind the scenes of our next book, Gaspar's Foxtrot. If you'd like to send in your pictures, you can email them to the website, gasparthefox.com. Here are some I was sent from America. It's a lovely clear blue sky in that one. No aeroplanes there either. If you send in your picture, we'll put them on the gallery. There are lots of fun things to do on the Gaspar the Fox website. You can find out where we're appearing, see a video of the real Gaspar, buy books and gifts of course, find out how to draw Gaspar, see your pictures and make lots of brilliant things including these foxy gingerbread biscuits. Delicious! You could also send us a picture of a rainbow. See how many you can see. Bye for now.